one berserk chief, 12 berserks, one penitent, and 15 warriors. Holy, wow. Four janissary will be placed under your control. Okay, okay, so. Hey everybody, welcome to this new video of Solaris Ray playing a Rimworld with the Crashers against the Shadow Empire. In the previous episode, well, we had a, a new friend, Elfi, which is uh, the new elephant that I've been uh, quote-unquote tamed by uh, Stingray, and uh, we call her Elfi. And uh, she made her first uh, uh, counter raid or defense, uh, whatever you want to call it, against a, a cluster of mechanoid, which uh, for sure is pretty cool. Um, but what I would like us to focus on this episode is trying to speed things up a little bit so we can actually uh, move a little bit in the research because uh, once this is going to be accomplished, we're going to be uh, we're going to have access to new abilities, and especially we're going to be able to transform Combo into a fighter. And uh, I think it's going to be very good for him to become a fighter because he has just so many people <laughs> in melee. This guy is like a murderous machine, but it needs to be even better because uh, the reality is he's the only real uh, defensive guy that we have. Now, it's true that, you know, we, we kind of have uh, maybe uh, Westler sometimes uh, that can help Hawker. I have punched uh, the Iqua in the face and put them back, but really our main line of defense at the moment is only combo, right? So we need to make him stronger, we need to make him better, and we're also going to need to make sure that he has some, some sort of armor, flak armor, or whatever, so he can uh, be protected, because if we look at, uh, at his gear, um, he had still the shield, uh, it has an helmet, and that's it. But uh, the armor that he had in the past to protect him have been, I presume, destroyed by the number of times that, <laughs> that he have been put to the ground and brought back to the brink of destruction with regeneration, which was pretty funny. But anyway, it's going to have to be the focus. We're going to need to uh, improve our lines of defense and we're going to need to focus on research. And before I go in, uh, and continue in this video, I just wanted to thank everybody for watching the series. If you enjoy it, please give a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. That really helps progress the channel. If you have any comments, put it in the comment section below. I read them all and I try to reply in a timely manner. So thank you very much, guys, for following. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, as you can see, I ordered the construction of a third bench. And, and what we're going to do in the future is extend this room. And we're going to make sure that this is actually the research area. I think that's pretty... Well, I mean, like, it doesn't need to be there. I think at one point I said, like, I would like to make the research area here and to get rid of this. Yeah, so let, let's keep that. But we're going to construct another bench. Uh, because I really want to have this progressed and uh, at the moment we have Marty, we have Hawk and I also want Wesler to uh, to help in the research efforts, right? Um, Wesler is not too bad as well. Now, he's pretty good in construction, but once you finish this, I don't necessarily think that we need uh, to focus too much in construction. So I'm going to reduce the priority for Wesler once this is going to be constructed. I'm going to reduce the product, the priority of construction and increase the priority of research. So let's, let's get going. All right, guys. So the day progressed a little bit. We're still working on this uh, research bench. Apparently, we need some wood. But we received a new quest. So let's have a look. Destroy the arcane bandits. Interesting. The Black Camisa, chief of Donna's Alliance, has sent us a message. Apparently, tribes people have sent up a nearby outpost and are threatening to attack the village unless the Dona Alliance village turn over their artifacts. The camp is controlled by the govern go Covenant of Kami. Okay, so they attacked us. Black is asking us to eliminate these vile hooligans which means destroying them and chasing them from their outpost. Black says but there's a bandit camp at the site guarded by three enemies. If we succeed, Black will send us some of the artifact transport with the following research will arrive. Okay, so a hundred unrefined magicides. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. So let's have a look. Uh, so, so Serenity is here. And the outpost is the outpost is there. So how long will it take us? Hmm, that's four days. Two days to go there, two days to come back. Okay. Animals will be able to graze, yes. Okay. I mean we could send combo and a uh, hog there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they will be able to take care of those guys with no problem. The question is, uh, is it worth it? I mean, we are not gonna gain, you know, a good wheel with those guys because it's not part of the the quest, I don't think. But maybe we're still gonna have good wheel if we do it. But a hundred unrefined magic site, we already have a few that we are not using. Um, maybe it's required to to make some kind of scribing or. Uh, I know that we can use that to make potions, which we cannot do at the moment anyway, and they are pretty addictive on top of that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not necessarily sure. Um, we have nine days before it expires, so we will think about the quest. We will think about it. All right, guys. So we did it at last. Uh, we. Finally managed to research scribing and now we are focusing on advanced scribing uh, So let's have a look a little bit at the, the mechanic around scribing So I presume that we, we, oh yeah, we have a scribing table, so how much? Okay, so it, do, it doesn't take too much Could potentially put it here So we could move this Let's say we, we move it here for example Right, and uh, we put the scribing table there, uh, but it's got it's pretty cool because this is gonna allow us access to multiple uh, new spells. And I also had the clarification: druids in Rim World of Magic is just like a lightning mage or an ice mage, a fire mage. It's considered a, a mage, right? A mage in the Rim World of Magic, as far as I understand it, it's a character that is using mana. So, uh, any abilities there that is called a mage spell is actually something that Hawk could learn, right? Um, and things like, uh, you know, but of course, fighter skills and things like that, technomancers, that's very specific for the class. So, ice spells, I think that's very specific to the ice mage, fire spells, fire, fire mage. But just mage spell, that's for any mage, right? We will experiment on that. Um, and there are some pretty cool things there, like sun, smoke cloud, you know, rain, uh, you know. So there, there are some pretty cool things. But most importantly, uh, there is a, a fighter, right? Fighter skills. And there is a bunch of pretty cool fighter skills, like repair gear, uh, fighter focus, uh, what is it there? Uh, pommel strike, sprint, spring, strong back, you know, so th this, those are the kind of things that you, but would be very cool on, uh, on, uh, on combo. There's also spells like EMP, which will be very cool. I guess, uh, the mechanoids, the devil, I don't know what that is. So we'll see a little bit more. So, but the first stage at this of, uh, scribing is done and we're going to, uh, focus on advanced scribing and master scribing because I really want uh, to have my uh, colonists all a hundred percent. So I really want Hawk to uh, to have access to regrowth, and I want to repair the, or or heal the spine from Alexio, and also give an arm in a in a leg back to uh, uh, a stingray. Okay, cool. So we are continuing to advance uh, in the, the scribing and then apparently the people are going to leave and they are going to leave Uranium, Milk and um, so that, that those are the people here. So they were pretty happy. You're going to leave us a bunch of stuff. Um, mana Weave. Oh, what is that? 
But with a weaver is cloth that has been infused with mag magicite and meticulously imbued with arcane symbols. A mana weaver inherits mana uh, for many of the physical property of cloth but acquire an additional reactive response to physical force. Uh, what makes the fabric unique is its ability to act as a conductor of mana but enhance the effect of enchantments and naturally grant protection against light and dark magic. Extremely difficult and taxing to create, only a talented and knowledgeable mage can make this material. So beauty is amazing. Decent protection, very good protection against hit and sharp. Okay, so that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, so we have our scribing table there. So th let's have a look. All right, so it's a bunch of spells uh, that we can do. Um, the first one, of course, that I would like to do would be uh, oh, fawn, torn script. What is that? Torn script, unfinished torn. Magic site. What is that for? Plain leather, unfinished torn script. An arcane script ready to be filled with a secret and unlocking magical power. Use a trained mage to record the arcane secret in the book. The book can then be used to teach others. Ah, oh, okay. A uh, gifted pawn um, how to become the same class. A torn script that will promote a gifted pawn to a magic class. But we are start with a random set of class abilities. Okay, so that's for magically gifted uh, people. Okay, you get it. A lightning spell, recharge batteries. Teach a lightning mage how to. Uh, so, yeah, this is for example specific to lightning mage. Okay. Rain. Teach a magic user to harness energy of the atmosphere to induce a brief rain. Okay. But here we can see it requires 40 magicite and 40 cloth. Oh. Okay. What about sprints? Eddie and refine uh, magicite and 80 ingredients. Okay. Okay. Now, if there is a spell there, like, uh, let's say, for example, magical or blur, what, what is blur doing? That require a 40 cloth and a lot of end refined magicide. Jeez. So we have a, we have a few. Unrefined magicite. Unrefined magicite. So yeah. I don't know why it's in there twice. But we have 357 unrefined magicite. We can do that quest to have a hundred more. But now I understand why magicite is uh so important. Uh it's required in any construction. And also there is something that I'm seeing, guys. It's you need cloth. For doing the spells now for doing the thing the fighter one like repair gear uh which is one that i would like strong back sprint um what is strong back uh, what is that for teach a fighter of a class how to dedicate the element of stamina to increase carrying and inventory capacity okay so Let's look at the the cloths and the So we only have 22 cloths, but we have a bunch of leather. So we may gonna need to trade guys. We may gonna need to buy some cloth. Um because we at one point we're gonna be able to create the cloths, like a hand tether bench will allow us to make uh cloths, I think, or is it the electric tether bench? 
but regardless, one of those can make uh, clothes and I think it will allow us to make crafts. But, um, yeah. Um, so we are advancing pretty fine here. We are advancing pretty far. Uh, uh, I wonder how much uh, regrowth will take. But I'm not gonna teach any magic to um, to your uh, hawk yet. I just really want to focus on um, regrowth. But for uh, combo. Combo, I would like us to focus on uh, either sprint or uh, what else would be would be good because that that if he learns one of those, he's gonna become a fighter, as far as I understand. Repair gear could be cool. What is fighter focus? What is that for? Um, teach a fighter class how to dedicate a Roman of Stanima to withstand greater mental and physical stress. Okay, well, this could be actually good. So let, let's uh, let's try to do this. Let's try to make one uh, one fight of fighting focus. I think that would be cool. What is that? A re re uranium fuel pod. All right, that that was given to us by uh, by the visitors. Okay. And some milk. Oh, uh, milk, milk, huh? I think we can make, uh, we can use milk to actually do uh, fine meals. I think we could do that. Try. Okay, a group of travelers are passing by. That's all great. So there's a lot of people passing by our little area, which is cool. I like it. Okay, so he's holding the things up. Boom. Great. He's gonna be eating. And then he's gonna grab some sleep. Yeah, you see, like, I don't want them to pass by the doors. I want them to go in the other way. Just because this guy tend to... What? Why is there some uranium fuel pod in Wesley's room? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that being said, there is also something that we could do is trying to increase this area so we can have a proper research room. And we also going to need to have um, air cons because one of the problems that they have there is like it's super warm. It's something like uh, during the day is like 30 plus degrees. So it, it slows down their research. So what kind of materials do we have? We have a bunch of granite right so we can actually use that in uh use plan or planning and we're gonna use uh, this and i would say we're gonna need uh it requires four two so that's gonna be six seven so we're gonna need seven at least so so let, let's do it there just to be safe and then it's three, that's nine, ten. Okay, all right, just gonna put it there. It's gonna be a little bit bigger, but at least this room will be solely dedicated, solely dedicated to uh, research. All right, um, so we're gonna take off. Uh, yeah, I gotta need to correct this, so planning. And we're gonna take off all this because all that changed in the grand scheme of things, right? And he, in here, it's gonna be research. This is, oops, sorry. This is the research area. And people can access the research area with this door. Uh, uh, that is not correct. Uh, that would not be a good idea, but they can re they can access it by here. Not a problem. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe let's put this here because 
we're gonna need to put some reef shore. So we we'll put the door here, and we can put another door there. It's not it's not very too too much of a big deal to be honest. Cool, and then we can add additional rooms, which I gonna gonna do right now. Actually, I'm gonna create another one. Wait, wait. What is this? Is made of granite? Yeah. Um. No, yeah, okay. Let's do this. Bedroom two. And we're gonna do. Maybe one. Maybe two. We're gonna do three. Are we gonna do four? There you go. And for the workforce, I uh, reprioritize uh, Westlake to uh, where is it? Westlake to construction. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's deactivate this for now, and let's uh, let's move on. Okay, guys. So we also receive a new quest. So let's have a look. Gua Gua Guardian for Vas. So Vas Kebas, a consul of the Broken Imperium, seek your help. Vas royal archaeologists uh, recently extracted three prisoners uh, from an ancient crypto sleep vault uh, and intend to question them. To keep the prisoners a secret from the court rivals, Vas wants you to hold them for 11 days. The prisoners are sick with blood rot and will require daily treatment. The disease can be slowly uh, can be slowed with quality care and medicine, but generally cannot be cured outright. If the disease becomes severe, the prisoner will die. So ensure you will have enough medical supply. I think we should be fine. Unfortunately, try people uh, from the Covenant Academy re uh, revered the vault that the prisoners were extracted from. They will send raids. To seek revenge on anyone who hold them, there will be two raids of strength uh, of two times and rough the size one berserk, twelve, one berserk chief, twelve berserks, one penitent, and fifteen warriors. Holy, wow! Four janissary will be placed under your control. Okay, okay, so we're gonna have a lot of goodwill, or. Altec staff. What is that? A ultra tech staff, threaded with psychic focus material. While it is a solid me a melee weapon, its main purpose is to enhance the wielder psychic sensitivity and neural heat dissipation, allowing better psych casting. Okay, so psychic sensitivity plus 40 and uh, neural heat recovery plus 0 0.08. Okay, so this would be a good stuff for Hawk. Or we could have uh, a bunch of goodwill. Okay, so what is blood rot? A slow glowing bacterial disease. The bacteria have little effect on the victim during the growing phase, but upon reaching saturation levels, will induce a toxin storm that leads to immediate death. The body's immune system will clear blood rot eventually, so the standard treatment is to use normal medicine to suppress it until it happens. Glitter world doctors can use a massive mechanite dose to clear the infection immediately, but it's expensive. So we're talking about medicine, we're not talking about herbal kits. Um, but we can give it a try. I really like this Altec stuff or the Goodwill. But honestly, I prefer the Altec stuff. So let's give it a try. Um, we still also have time for this quest. So we're going to do this quest shortly after. So the prisoners have arrived. So they're going to be here. We're going to, and we have also the Janices. All right. So the journey says, um, uh, so I think there's three prisoners. So we just made a bunch of rooms. Unfortunately, I couldn't finish those rooms there because there's water there. It's kind of a, uh, unfortunate, but uh, we could make an extra room. But the journey says can sleep in here, I think. Like, uh, I think that, that, that should be fine. They can sleep in there. All right, they're, they're there for a mission and that... 
Um, so that, that will fulfill the mission, okay? Um, now we have two rooms. Potentially what we could do... Um, bunch of... How many beds do I need? Oh, Jesus. Um... I did it now. Cancel. Reinstall. Uh, let, let's put it here. Let's uh, let's make sure that this stays always shut. So two prisoners will sleep in this room. One prisoner will sleep in that room. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's slow down. Okay. So those guys are gonna capture your right. Everybody's kind of sleeping. Uh, who could do that for me? Well, that's fine. They, they can do that for me. Come on. We'll never do construction. What? What do you mean you will never do construction? Ah. Oh. <laughs> wow. They are very, very specific, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. They, ah. they will never do construction. But at least some of them can do entertainment, I guess. Ah, uh, all right. Well, um, okay. He's tired. He's tired. She's tired. Combo is not necessarily super tired, so we could potentially ask Combo to um move the bed. Okay, you you capture the guy. Okay, so let let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, and great. Now you you're gonna grab the other guy. Uh, what about you guys? Go on. Uh, okay, so we need to finish that bed. I didn't use the. I, I didn't uh, use the right time to actually. What are they doing? Why are they going in the rooms? They're just perturbing my, my pawns. Let, let them sleep. Okay. There's no wood. That is interesting. I think everybody is kind of using something. I'm gonna reallocate this bed. So we're gonna we're gonna cancel this uh this bed and uh, I gotta reallocate this bed for the mission. Yeah, she's trying to escape. Now they're they're walking super slow. They're not gonna be able to uh, to to escape. Okay, go 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 go. Okay, just melee attack her. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so here you go. Now, there's something that I wanted to see. Uh, Hawk is actually taking care, it's going at the animatory, all that stuff. I wonder if cure disease will be able to cure this uh, this blood thing there. And if not, then I need to make sure that uh, uh, I need to open some herbal medicines to make sure that they stay alive for the for the period. Uh, okay. Four colonists idle. Of course they are idle. They can do nothing except fighting, which is fine by me. We could actually use them for the quest, the other quest. Um, but we need to be careful because we, we're going to have pretty, pretty severe raids, so... Okay, so what is Og doing? Okay. Alright, so he's tending them. Oh yeah, okay, so he's healing. Well, I, I mean, dude, do you really need to do that? I don't necessarily think you need to. Okay, so just stay there for now. Let, let regeneration do its job. Okay, now there is another thing that I wanted to check. Um, now there's no point stripping just go here and what i would like to experiment is is there a way for us to get rid of the blood rot so i do this now okay we got we're gonna need to treat them by conventional uh by conven conventional means. Alright. Which is fair enough. Yeah. So Stigray is, is pr it's pretty decent with plants now. Even if he didn't have a major passion or whatever. He's almost at 10. Uh, yeah, it's still butch stuff apparently. But uh, you know. And we have more people in the base now, so... I wonder what Hawk is doing. What is he doing? Oh, he's researching. Okay. Everybody have been tended? Yeah. Every... Oops, sorry. What am I doing? Um... Yeah. This is, uh... Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna keep them for something like 11 days. Um, and I don't feel comfortable sending uh, those guys in mission because we're gonna have a pre pretty severe raids Which means that it may be good for us to um, To reinforce our defenses uh, Because there we have a kill box, but honestly uh, There are some part of the the base that is very vulnerable Um Speaking of which, um, have we made this, the, the scribe or the, uh, the scroll? Let's see. No. So, he's researching. Can, can you? Not enough materials. Let's see. So, what we're gonna need to do is to buy some leather. Um, if I'm not mistaken, because if we go into details here, uh, require 95 unrefined magicide, which we do have. Minimum of 4 crafting in texture, which we do have. 80 ingredients. Okay, so it, it doesn't seem that it can use multiple type of ingredients. So we're going to need to have a big quantity of a specific uh, fur or whatever. So uh, w I think we're going to have to send uh, Kaysen, uh for trading. We could potentially send her here with our allies of the Edruvera. Um, 
I think that would be good and we're gonna need to provide us some silver of course not making the same mistake that we did last time um, how many how much silver do we have uh, how much silver uh, is that there jeez okay 292 hmm Hmm. We could potentially try to sell some uh, sculptures. I could send it with a uh, healthy, and uh, they will be able to uh, to carry a few things. Um, we don't have a lot of marble, right? So let's go here and let's say there is no marble. Okay, uh, where is Combo? Okay, he's hungry. Alright, so we're gonna need to have an action plan. So he's eating. I think the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we can make a bunch of statues. No empty accessible spots for storing it. Interesting. Interesting. There you go. So that's what you're gonna do, my friend. You're gonna hold a whole bunch of marble. Oh, there is even closer one, so I didn't see. Um, which is fine. So the marble is gonna allow us to make statues, and statues, uh, we it's gonna allow us to have more silver, and silver is gonna allow us to buy cloth. And, and and potentially and we find magic sites uh and uh, and um i find leather and cloth right so we need a lot yeah i'm pretty sure that alexio is not super happy i can understand all right just checking on their health No, they, they have um, um, hmm. I need to be careful with the the hit thing, right? Um, but I could deconstruct this and deconstruct that. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I need to be careful if I deconstruct this because I don't want them to escape. It happened once. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> no, it was it wasn't in this series. Uh, it wasn't in this series. By the way, like I would like to cut this uh, those plants there. They are slowing uh, people down. Okay. Another thing as well is like I would like us to increase the amount of. Uh, uh, meals we have because I'm gonna have to send a case in a few days uh, um, for trading and I need to make sure that there is enough food in the camp so she's gonna be doing food 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 for all that duration what time is it right now six yeah, by the time that they arrive to the tree, that's the problem. By the by the time that they arrive to the tree, there's nothing uh like it needs to leave. So that that's not good. So we're gonna do this. There you go. Because I want him to continue to uh to develop his psychic abilities uh with the tree. So if he needs more time to do it, then he's gonna take time to do it. Okay. We also have other people making the research now, which is perfectly fine by me. Wesley is working on the marble, which is perfect. Kaysen is cooking. It's 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 perfect. I really I really like it's a well-oiled machine. Alright. 
and I'm looking at the time, it's already 39. Jeez, guys, it's it's going so quick. But, um, but yeah, I'll, I'm going to pause the episode here. We have a battle plan. We are, have a mission, right? And, um, and we know that at any time, we can be raided. So we need to be ready. We need to be ready for the time that we're going to be raided, right? But I think with combo and, um, and those guys... We should be able to defend, but uh, honestly, um, I would be more comfortable if Combo could have some sort of armor. Um, so we could do uh, plate armor, but we need complex clothing. Flag armor requires machining. Yeah. Arcane crafting. Ooh. Okay, what is this arc and crafting? Because we are not far from this. We could research arc and crafting. What 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 the Dark Robe Armor of the Valiant. Arc and Hood Arm of the Valiant. Interesting. Cloak of the Wonder. Lightning Rods. Yeah, I really like this. Elephant Spear, Elephant Bow, Wand of Fire, Wand of Ice, Wand of Lightning. Hmm. I like it, guys. So maybe what we would do is that we're going to slide this in, but uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to require some time. But uh, this, is, this would be the fastest armor that we can provide to combo, but I, I'm not necessarily sure uh, if we're going to have the time to, to research it, because really... As I said, like, uh, I want to have access to regrowth, right? I want to have access to regrowth. And by following the plan, we should have enough cloth and leather uh, and magicite to um, give access to combo to the fighter class and at the same time be able to develop the, uh, the, the scroll uh, of regrowth for Hawk when when we'll reach that point right we already almost at 50% on the advanced one so we are advancing pretty fast but we we are being distracted by uh, other things there but it's not it's not gonna take too long okay but that's our plan so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a like and I will catch you on the next on the next one bye